Hello, this is Mark Sabatella from Outside Shore Music, home of Mastering MuseScore. In this video, I want to show you uh, a couple of the new settings that exist to control the spacing of your score. And actually, most of the settings are the same, but they've moved a bit. So let's take a look at what we're talking about here. We're going to be talking about both the spacing vertically, how much space between staves, between systems, etc., and also horizontally, how wide each measure is, how much space between notes. These spacing, these settings used to be in two different sections of the format style dialog, but now if I go to format style, we're going to see under spacing here. It used to be a section called page, and then a little further down was one called measure. They're all combined now in this section called spacing. So this is all the vertical spacing settings here. This tells you uh, the minimum distance between systems, the maximum distance between systems, minimum distance between staves within systems, etc. None of that has changed. These settings are all the same as they have been, other than the location is now called spacing instead of page. What's new is how the horizontal settings work, and that's what I want to show you here. In particular, this setting here that says system density. This is kind of a nice overall control over, well, like it says, the density. It's going to control how wide or narrow your measures are in a very general sense. So if we look at how wide these measures are here right now, and I turn up the system density, whoops, uh, I'm covering up my own thing here. Let's try that again. I will tell it 150%. Notice that now it's denser. It's fitting more on the system. If I turn it down, say, to only 50, well, now it's fitting less on the system, right? Bigger number, more dense, smaller number, less dense. So that's just an overall control over the density. The, and that's a new setting. There's, there, there used to be settings to control, to try to control this, but they were kind of indirect. This is just a nice, simple, direct control. The other setting that's really nice that has existed before but didn't work quite as well as it does now is, let me uh, uh, scroll down a little bit. If we look at this first system here, notice that these first four measures are narrower than the next two. Well, that's because uh, eighth notes take up more space. The more notes that are in the measure, the wider the measure is. This is normally the way music is uh, typeset. Uh, a measure full of eighth notes is going to be wider than a measure containing only a whole note, etc. Uh, but what this setting does is it, it allows you to kind of control this ratio. How much more space does a quarter note need than eighth notes? How much more space does a half note need than quarter notes, etc. And if I go back to that dialog, and this time, under um, that setting there, spacing ratio, if I change that ratio to 2, let me do that here, spacing ratio, I'm going to change that to 2, and then watch what happens. When I change it to 2, suddenly, this measure with eighth notes in it takes exactly the same amount of space as the one with quarter notes. Why is that? Because now quarter notes are taking twice as much space as eighth notes. They didn't used to. By default, it was only one and a half times as much space. So that, that measure was able to be narrower. But now, uh, by setting the um, spacing ratio to two, quarter notes take twice as much space as uh, Eighth notes and half notes take twice as much space as quarter notes. So basically, all measures are going to be roughly the same width. There can still be differences due to presence of accidentals and so forth, but this will give you closer to equal width uh, measures, which can occasionally be useful. So uh, there's other settings in here. Most of them haven't changed. Uh, it's just, again, the location. The settings that controlled uh, the, this, uh, these spacing, the horizontal spacing used to be in a section of the dialog called measures, but now it's in spacing along with the vertical one. So there's the vertical spacing and the horizontal spacing all combined in the spacing section of the style dialog. Uh, 